I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry. Sorry. This is such a... Uh, the mic was off. Yeah, now it's back. So, and I'll have to edit the YouTube video to uh, make it better. So, yeah. So, now we are live, right? You can hear me, I guess. And, yeah. So, basically, we covered everything yesterday. We covered the main points, uh, which is uh, Nifty Bank, Nifty, USD, NR. We'll talk about something which we missed in all three sectors yesterday. We'll also look at one sector, one specific sector uh, in Nifty, which kind of looks bad right now because every single stock is giving a negative candle pattern in every single time frame that I can think of. It, of course, does not mean that you should go take the trade right now. But I'm saying that if you're looking to invest, you know, slightly longer term into that sector, then it might look a little bad the prospects of that sector in the long term is looking bad right so without further ado let's get uh, into this thing so uh, somebody is asking nifty up or down i think typing class is asking nifty or up so here's the thing right so one one small thing right every time somebody asks you is something going up or down you should not say up or down you should reply with another question which is what is the time frame so if somebody asks me, what is my view? My answer is, what is the time frame, right? So if you asked me on Thursday, what is my view? I I, I think I, so not Thursday, the, the Monday. And we were talking about this, right? Um, we can't look at SGX Nifty and trade. My, my time frame for one or two days was that there is support at 17,000. That was that this thing. But if you ask me, what is my long-term view on Nifty? Uh, medium term view on nifty maybe it might just go up a little bit before budget maybe it will stay flat if you ask me what is my long term view on nifty that is pretty grim right in the sense that i would not want to invest in mutual funds uh, right now so some, so usha is asking what is uh, my, my view about feds meeting usha the thing is this right uh, see we don't know what fed will do but we can guess what others are thinking what fed will do Looking at this chart, we are back in, so if, if you look at this chart, right, uh, there is a channel there and the channel has taken support and there's a green candle of the channel. This is happening because somebody does not believe that there is a downside in Nifty in the short term. So I don't know what Fed will do, but the people who probably know what Fed will do have bought nifty at the bottom of that channel which you see on my screen right now right because we don't know what fed will do right but these guys know and they have bought so probably there is a good news coming out of fed meeting today based on price action right price action at least says that there is a support there people have bought there there was a clean rejection week there so there are two things right i mean one is if you look at this chart i'll just enlarge it there was this downward trending channel channel long time back right this top this top this top this 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 was a very clean nice channel which we had running in fact we even you know had a nice ride on this channel till this happened i mean so i i had i wrote this channel and then i got you know kind of screwed at this level but uh, it's not bad i mean it's decent points captured but gave away everything in the retracement but the catch is this right um this channel's bot top is here so one is of course this uh, upward trending channel giving support here and the rejection wick you are seeing this tiny you know you can search what is rejection wick you will see it then of course there is this rejection wick which again happened at the bottom of this at the top of this channel both of these zones gave support nifty bounced up from both these zones and now it closed inside the channel so now i have a feeling that somebody knows something good is probably going to come out of fed meeting at least nothing bad is immediately going to come out of fed meeting which is why we are seeing this price action again see most important right why do we want to guess now what will happen in fed meeting tomorrow once the news is out depending on where the market goes we can react to that right i mean ideally that should be our course we should not anticipate what will happen in fed meeting and take a trade yesterday tomorrow when it's clear where is the trend going to go we can of course pile on to that trade tomorrow but the levels to watch for you for nifty are the bottom of this channel which is somewhere around this zone so so the thing is this, right? I, I, I don't believe in saying at 17.063 there's a support that is like total very pointless, right? But if you also have drawn this channel connecting 
these tops and this parallel, you will see this, right? I don't have to say where is the number. The important thing is that you also make a copy of this chart and, you know, follow this. Now, again, this channel, right? I don't really have to say where is the support. You can connect this top, this top, this top, and this bottom, this bottom, this bottom, and you have your own channel, right? So watch this channel tomorrow. If this channel breaks, there will be pain in Nifty, I, which I don't expect to happen before budget, if you ask me personally, because currently it is firmly into the... Um, channel but again i am predicting i shouldn't do that whatever happens tomorrow we'll see right now um coming to so so coming to bank nifty bank nifty is one uh so again right i have positive expectations from nifty tomorrow because there is a clean price action in Bank Nifty yesterday. So if you look at Bank Nifty, there are two things in Bank Nifty which is positive. One on the daily time frame, they, it gave a very clean bullish en engulfing, right? And that too, it broke the 50 DMA and 100 DMA and closed with a very, very strong bullish engulfing. So Bank Nifty looks positive, right? Now, if you look at weekly time frame of Bank Nifty, Interestingly, on weekly time frame, Bank Nifty has given a, um, what is this thing called? Bullish hammer, right? Now, uh, it's a different story whether it will have any upside beyond this level that we don't know. But as of now, at least Bank Nifty is not a short. So because Bank Nifty is not a short and because Bank Nifty on the one day time frame looks bullish, right? Definitely tomorrow you can't short. Maybe you can short here. Maybe you can short here. We don't know. But at this point, it is not a shot. It probably has an upside till here. So because Bank Nifty has some upside and Bank Nifty is 40% of Nifty, I would expect Nifty also to have some upside. Uh, but of course, if this bullish engulfing is getting invalidated, you have to be ready for downside in Bank Nifty also. Bank Nifty's long-term trend line that you can draw yourself. Connect this, connect this, connect this. Basically, take the daily time frame and make this clean trend line. You will see where the support of bank nifty is right finally going to the only thing which is being giving us very clean returns in the last you know 10 trading sessions so dollar rupee looks very strong riding very very strong fed meeting of course has a very strong impact on dollar rupee because the uh, so if there's one thing which is really affected by fed meeting it is dollar rupee because uh, rupee dollar forward premium is derived from the interest rate differential between inr and usd right so if fed comes with a very hawkish policy usd will go up if it comes with a very dovish policy usd will go down right so this is a very high impact thing on uh, fed meeting right so now let us look at one uh, one important 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 sector so i was generally casually looking at uh, nifty also thanks to many people karamveer mehul keur palash garo all our regulars who have sent us many many charts uh, I can't feature all of them individually, uh, partly because, you know, we might run out of time, mostly because I don't understand many of the things which you know, you're talking about. But, but anyway, so this is Nifty, right? Uh, sorry, this is Infi. Now, if this is a chart you might want to study. Again, it's a, it's a free tool. You can, this is also available in your broking terminals as, you know, broker integration. I have one, you know, not so great looking thing about infi which is look if you look at this right the infi has cracked below like you, you can see this right if i connect these uh, bottoms and draw this thing it looks like infi has got gone below it's uh, this support trend line right that is on a daily time frame it looks bad correct now let me look at weekly time frame. Weekly may Infi has a bearish engulfing. This is also bad, right? I mean, we all know what is bearish engulfing. Now, if you look at monthly again, this is a bearish engulfing or it will at least end up as a bearish piercing. So on all three time frames, if Infi looks negative, which made me wonder, but again, I don't know where to show it in the sense you have to look at price action and decide that. But it's definitely not a long-term investment stock right now. <coughs> Now, uh, uh, now let's look at 
TCS on a monthly chart, this looks like a formation of a bear shooting star. But for that, the body has to be red. Let's look at TCS on weekly chart. It has a bearish engulfing. Let's look at TCS on one day chart. It has a one day chart is probably not looking terrible. Let's see, right? Now, what's the other IT stock? TCS Wipro in fee, right? Is there something else in that pack? Is, I mean, something important enough, I mean. What's the other important? Okay. Now, look at this, right? Wipro seems to have fallen off a cliff on the daily time frame. The stock is below 200 DMA, stock is below 150 DMA, 50 has cut 100. All of these are signs of trend reversing, right? Now, if you look at Wipro's weekly chart, again, it has closed below the 50 weekly moving average. There might be some support here. So, I'm saying that this is a sell, but not at the current level, but you can see that the trend has reversed. Now, it is a sell on uptick. You have to wait for that uptick to execute your trade. Again, this is very important, right? Look at the last candle on monthly candle on Wipro. This is a fairly pronounced, very, very clear bearish engulfing candle, right? I just thought I'll put it out there again, right? To short a bearish engulfing at the bottom of the engulfing candle takes a lot of balls. I mean, you know, it, it, you, because your stop loss is here, because in a bearish engulfing, right? If your uh, uh, entry is here, your stop loss is here, and this is not a tradable candle, right? Because you, if you can't short 561 with a stop at 715, right? That is stupid. Uh, but of course, if let's say Wipro gives goes up from here and sh shows you a bullish, uh, sorry, a, ba a bearish shooting star or some kind of a price reversal signal, right? Or let's say it comes to this level or even at this level, it again gives you a negative candle on a shorter time frame. It gives you a bearish engulfing or a, you know, shooting star or something. Then you can think about it. But my point was not about a short term trade on any of these stocks. My point is all three big IT companies that I can think of, they are all giving long term negative signals from a pure candlestick perspective. So, um, right, uh, it, it, it doesn't look nice for IT in the um, long run, right? So, we will look at this sector in the days to come. But in case you are planning to put and so I, I am I'm saying this also because another reason a lot of people said that dollar is going up good time to buy it no when index crashes when there is uncertainty in the world dollar goes up in that scenario whichever sector you pick including it will fall down right so this dollar it play when dollar up it down sorry it up and dollar down it up works well in a stable market it does not work well in a risk on scenario because in a risk on scenario it will go down even if dollar goes up right um, okay so this concludes you know our analysis for today uh, this is a short one because we have covered most of the things yesterday we'll see you again tomorrow after the expiry and we'll strategize what to do or what not to do in Budget day. Uh, Ullas is asking, can we go ATM long straddle in BN on budget day? Uh, it's a it's a it's a very tricky trade to do simply because of the high IV and high option premium. Unfortunately, um, so that's one question for the day. So all right, guys. I'll I think I'll call it the end of this one. We'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, please keep your capital safe. And as usual, this is not recommendation or tip. This is just chart analysis so that eventually you don't need to look at this program to look at do your own charts. So. We'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep your capital safe.